What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Crafting Cars. We got a lot to do today. Not a lot of time. Let's get right into it. And it goes a little yeah. something like All right, guys, what is up? We got a bunch of stuff to do today in preparation for getting the engine, hopefully next Friday. One of those things was I wanted to get all this organized again back to the way that it should be. So now I can lay all my parts out here. Once I move the go-kart frame, uh, I can lay all my parts out here, have all my tools here, and then hopefully have the engine block and whatnot right here. That'll make things a lot easier and hopefully a lot more pleasant to work with um but now that that's done didn't want to bore you guys with time lapse or anything of that so let's go ahead and roll the rx7 out we gotta start cleaning that engine bay Okay, so I suppose you guys are wondering what color I'm doing these. I decided what I think would look really good with the black engine block and cylinder heads would be some white valve covers. I also have some clear coat that I'm gonna be putting on it to hopefully make it really easy for to clean it and wipe everything off and whatnot. So yeah, white valve covers. Coming at ya.
done painting them, I also put three coats of clear coat on here, as you guys saw. Um, yeah, so I, looking at this, you, you're probably wondering why the finish on this one is so poor. It is not actually the finish. This casting was horrible. I had to take a file to it to take off some of the burrs and stuff. Didn't do much. There was so much pitting and corrosion in here. Let's see if I can pick it up. Right in here, there's so much pitting, it was ridiculous. But this one, it's already dirty, but this one actually turned out really good. Really happy with this. Um, but yeah, overall, really happy. I'm, I'm going to try and source a new valve cover for this side. They do sell them individually, so I'm gonna try and source one for just this side. Hopefully one that has a better casting on it. And if I do find that, this is more of just to see how it looks and see if I like it once it's on the block. Once they are on the block, if I do like it, then this guy called Charlie Moore, who I'll probably reach out to and see if I can get a powder coat done on the valve covers. But for now, this is perfect. This is what I need. All in all, really happy with today. There isn't too much left to do before I get the engine block back. Once I do have the engine block back, then everything's going in together now. Also, quick update, what I'm plan planning to do, putting the engine together with the trans, getting in the car, see if I can hopefully try and start it before winter hits. I'm rushing to do that, and then over winter, I'll be pulling the engine and the trans back out and finishing everything up. So even though the engine bay isn't the cleanest right now, it still needs a lot more work and I still want to paint it. I'm thinking after cleaning it, um, it's good, it's way better than it was. So I can uh, go ahead and throw that LS1 in there. Maybe even get a first drive in before the season's over. That'd be awesome. But another aspect of it too, it also has a practical purpose. That way, once I have everything in there, then I can decide on what I want to change or if I want to do anything a little bit different. I was going to look at getting new engine mounts and all that stuff, but I already had the engine mounts, I already had the trans mount and the drive shaft at the right length for this setup. So I might as well run it, see how it works, see how it goes, and then see if I want to change anything. So this is going to be a real good idea, give me a good indication on where to start and where to focus on over the winter so that the car is ready to go in the springtime. So that's enough talking. I really appreciate it if you guys stuck around this long. If you have, leave a like. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.